Nick Saban is arguably the greatest college football coach any of us has ever seen. He's won seven national championships in 2003, 9, 11, 12, 15, 17, and 20. He's won 10 SEC championships. He's won a MAC championship. He's won 14 SEC Western Division championships. He's a two-time Paul Bear Bryant Award winner, two-time Walter Camp Coach of the Year, one-time George Munger Award winner, a Bobby Dow Coach of the Year, and except for one other national championship with LSU back in 2003, most of his success has been with the Alabama Crimson Tide. Now, in this 15 season, with Alabama, he's 183 and 25. That's an 80% win percentage. He's 15 and 6 in bowl games. He has six national championships. He has eight conference titles, nine division titles, four Heisman Trophy winners, and 44 consistent All-Americans. Now, Nick Saban's hiring at Alabama was anything less than controversial. He pretty much went on record saying he wasn't going to lead the Miami Dolphins. I'm not going to be the Alabama coach. What? 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 Then he left the Miami Dolphins to go ahead and coach Alabama. But let's just say that was probably the right decision. So I figured with this information, let's go ahead and have some fun. And let's go back to the beginning of time where it all started. And let's resume Nick Saban's entire Alabama coaching career right here in NCAA 08. What's good, everybody? It's your boy Uncle Sam's Reject here. And welcome back to the channel, boys. And just a slight change in the video, boys. We're going with NCAA 09 over NCAA 08. And here's why. All right, so when I first came up with this video idea, it was like a year ago, bro. You know, a long, long time ago. That's where the intro was from. I was originally going to go ahead and use NCAA 08, but then I got to thinking, let's go to NCAA 09 because that is the first year Nick Saban has his own recruiting class come in. And that recruiting class has the likes of Julio Jones, who is going to be a freshman. So this team is going to be pretty good. John Parker Wilson is going to be our starter. He's a senior. Uh, Greg McElroy is going to come in, come up, come up after that. You know, hopefully Star Jackson, you know, can uh can actually improve and maybe even overtake Greg McElroy. Star Jackson was fire in this game. Um, at running back, we got Trey Grant, Glenn Coffey, Roy Upchurch, Mark Ingram is a true freshman, and Chris Jordan. Fullback is gonna be Jimmy Johns. Wide receivers, Mike McCoy, Nikita Stover, Julio Jones, Brandon Gibson, Melvin Ray, Will Oakley, Earl, Earl Alexander. Tight end gonna be Nick Walker, Travis McCall, Colin Peak. Left tackle, we got Andre Smith. Left guard, we got Marlon Davis. Center, we got Evan Card Cardwell. Right guard, we got Mike Johnson. Right tackle, we got uh, Antoine Caldwell. Left in, we got Bobby Greenwood. Right in, we got Luther Davis. Courtney Upshaw is a true freshman after him. Uh, so, you know, it's got some names that really became to be became those guys at Alabama. Lorenzo Washington, Terrence Cody, Marcel Darius as a true freshman at the D tackle position. Left house on linebacker, uh, Ezekiel Knight. We got Damian Square as a true freshman. Middle linebacker, we got sophomore Rolando McLean. We got Eric Anders after him. Right outside linebacker, we got Corey Reamer, Jarrell Harris, and Mark Barron is going to be a true freshman here on this team as well. Cornerback, we got Lionel Mitchell, we got Marquise Johnson, we got Alonzo Lawrence, Kareem Jackson, and Burton Scott. Free safety, Rashad Johnson, Javier Arenas, Robert Lester, strong safety, Ali Sharif, Wesley Neighbors, Chris, Chris Rogers. Kicker is going to be Lee Tiffin, and then punter is going to be P.J. Fitzgerald. Now, when it comes to this sim, we are not controlling any aspect of anything. No death charts, no recruiting, no schedule changes, no gameplay. Everything is going to be strictly sim. And I have done dry runs of this, and they will recruit effectively for Alabama. So I can't wait to see how this goes. We're going to start off here in the 2008-2009 season, and we're going to simulate all the way up to present day. Now, when I originally came up with this idea, I was going to sim all the way up to the season that just passed. But we're going to simulate all the way up to present day day and even simulate the rest of this current season that we have going on this year's schedule starting off rough with number 11 clemson tulane western kentucky arkansas number one georgia kentucky old miss number 19 tennessee arkansas state lsu mississippi state auburn now let's just take a look around and get a good feel of what the college football landscape was like back then georgia was number one oklahoma two ohio state usc florida lsu missouri West Virginia, Wisconsin, Texas, Clemson, Texas Tech, Penn State, Arizona State, Kansas, Auburn, Virginia Tech, Illinois, Tennessee, BYU, South Carolina, Bama, Oregon, uh, Cincinnati, and Wake Forest is going to round out your top 25. And then your Heisman watch list is going to be Tim Tebow, 
Chris Wells, Percy Harvin, Chase Daniel, and Michael Crabtree. So what we're gonna do, boys, we're gonna simulate sim season by season. We're gonna see how the boys do. We're gonna kind of compare them to what they did in real life to see how close they came to, you know, repeating that success. I wanna see if NCAA is gonna somehow depict the GOAT that Nick Saban has become a college football, and if Alabama can reign supreme over these next 15 to 16 seasons. All right, boys, so season one is in the books. We end the regular season, number 18 in the nation, nine and three, five and three in the conference. We beat Clemson, Tulane, Western Kentucky, Arkansas, lost to Georgia, beat Kentucky, beat Ole Miss, lost to Tennessee, beat Ark State, lost to LSU, beat Mississippi State, and we beat Auburn in the Iron Bowl. We will be missing out on the SEC championship here in season number one. Let's take a quick look at who the top guys are. John Parker Wilson threw for 29 touchdowns, five picks, 19 to eight for Greg McElroy. Star Jackson threw two and one. On the ground, Glenn Coffey, 553 yards, five touchdowns, uh, two touchdowns for Grant. John Parker Wilson had four touchdowns as well. Receiving wise, Julio Jones, a true freshman, 80 catches, 1,039 yards, eight touchdowns, 77 for Mike McCoy, 938 yards, 14 touchdowns. Nikita Stover, 54 receptions, 829 yards, 11 touchdowns. Defensively, Ezekiel Knight leads all tacklers with 64. Leads all tackle for loss getters with 15. He's also going to be the sack leader on the squad. The pick leader is going to be Wesley Neighbors and Rashad Johnson. Uh, did we force any fumbles? We forced, what's that, two, four, seven fumbles. And we, it looks like we recovered all seven of them. Did we score any defensive touchdowns? They did score three. All right, boys. Missouri's Chase Daniels is going to win the Heisman here in the first season, 2008. Graham Harrell, Tim Tebow, Michael Crabtree, and Colt McCoy all finished below him. Here in the first season, going 9-3, we will be taking on 10-3, number 13, Texas, in the Cotton Bowl. Can we start things off on a positive note and win our bowl game? All right, guys, so we do fall short here in the bowl game. Final record is going to be 9-4. We lose 33-17 to Texas. John Parker Wilson is your school's new passing yards leader in a season with 26-43. He also has a school touchdown record in a season with 30. Julio Jones breaks the school reception in a season record. He also breaks the yard record by 62. And Mike McCoy breaks the touchdown record by four. So, positive season, just not quite where we want to be. Take a look at everybody we got leaving. We got David Ross uh, leaving the Arkansas State for transfer. Oakley McCall, Ezekiel Knight, John Parker Wilson, Corey Reamer. We got Lionel Mitchell. We got Jimmy Johns. We got Rashad Johnson. We got Bobby Greenwood. We got uh, Marlon Davis, Antoine Caldwell uh nikita stover so all you know prime important people on the squad will be leaving all right boys so even though we lose a few people to transfer uh, graduation in the draft we're going to be getting two of our rivals top players i feel like 87 overall cornerback j eugene 85 overall chad jones both coming in from lsu they will have to sit out this next season but the season after that i feel like they can be doing big things for the ball club and they could possibly be like 90 overalls before they even step on the field all right boys so after the first season we are going to have a top 15 recruiting class number 11 not a single five star but 11 four stars four three stars seven two stars all right boys here in season number two preseason rankings coming into the year Alabama is ranked 19th, B plus overall, B plus offense, B plus defense, the A special teams. 2009, let's see what we could do. 2009 IRL was Nick Saban's first national championship win with the Crimson Tide. Will we be able to repeat that or will we fall a bit short? Take a look at the schedule this season, man. We got Florida State, uh, Louisiana Monroe, Arkansas, Georgia, Ole Miss, Tennessee, Mississippi State, Vandy, LSU, Auburn, UCF, and Louisiana Tech. Now, I, I gotta admit something to you guys. For those of you guys that follow me on Twitter, man, I recorded this video early earlier today. Nobody knows which video it was, but I recorded this video earlier today. It took me three hours to record the video, and as I was saying my outro of the video, my entire computer crashed, lost the video. So here we are again. I'm not even gonna tell you guys how that one ended. It was crazy, you know what I'm saying? But all right, boys, so season number two went well. 10 and 2, 6 and 2 in the conference, but we're going to miss out on the SEC championship game probably because we lost to LSU or Auburn. We beat Bum SU, we beat Monroe, we beat Arkansas, we lost to Georgia 52 35, beat Ole Miss, beat Tennessee, beat Vandy, beat uh, Miss State, beat LSU. We lost to Auburn in the Iron Bowl this year. And then, you know what I'm saying? Hold on, it went away. And then after that, we were able to beat UCF and Louisiana Tech. 
uh we are in the top 15 we should be in a in a, in a pretty high bowl game but we're going to miss out let's take a look at who is actually going to be in the sec championship it's going to be florida versus auburn all right guys so season number two's heisman is going to go to sam bradford of oklahoma no sean moreno shady mccoy josh freeman and demarco murray all finished below him and it was a runaway train uh for sam bradford as he got 417 of the total first place votes we will be in the outback bowl taking on 10 and 2 number 16 michigan we're now moved we've now moved up to number 14 so pretty solid season julio jones is going to win the bullet the call for receiver of the year you let us see it and that's going to be our one um piece of hardware that we win uh can we win this bowl game here um and in in in, in this season with a cherry on top all right boys so unfortunately we are now only two in our bowl games man we lose this one 38 to 33 that's not a game that matters the most anyway but you do get money and you do get recognition for winning bowl games this is what extends uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, this is what extends contracts, and this is what, you know, could ultimately get one of those big-time recruits. So Greg McElroy comes right back behind John Parker Wilson and breaks his record, blows it out of the water. 40, almost 4150 uh passing yards in a season. He also beats his touchdown record by seven. He also beats the touchdown and career record just like that. Julio Jones, 109 receptions, a new school record. He also had 195, has 195 receptions in his career, and then he broke his own school record for a receptions. CBRs in the season with 1345 and he now has the new career record as well and he also broke mike mccoy's record he just set last year with now 15 receiving touchdowns in the season oh but julio's not done 23 touchdowns in the career so far and this is just his sophomore year all right boys so everybody leaving here in season number two melvin ray's gonna be transferring to purdue uh, we're losing a senior, a strong safety, not really worried. Our punter's gone. We're losing to Mike Johnson. We're losing Marquise Johnson. We're losing Lorenzo Washington, Terrence Cody. We're also losing Javier Arenas, Glenn Coffey, uh, Roy Upchurch, Evan Cardwell, Lee Tiffin, uh, Brandon Diedrich, and Andre Smith, uh, Eric Anders. We're losing a lot of big name guys that make a big difference. Mike McCoy is gonna be gone as well, but you know what I'm saying? We're, we're going, we're, I'm pretty confident that we're gonna have a pretty top-notch program as Mike McCoy ended his uh, his career at Bama pretty strong. All right, boys, so this time we have an even better class after the second season. Number four in the nation, a top five class, two five stars, 11 four stars, five three stars, seven two stars. All right, boys, season number two, we're coming in at number 13 in the nation. This is what the schedule's looking like. NIU, NIU, KU, uh, Middle Tennessee State, Arkansas, Georgia, Idaho, Ole Miss, Tennessee, Mississippi State, LSU, Auburn, Louisiana Tech. Fairly easy schedule, right? Fairly easy, but I've seen weirder things happen in these sims, so there's no guarantees. All right, guys, so we regress a little bit this season. We lose one more like, extra game, but we're still number 13 in the nation, but we're still not going to make the SEC championship. We beat Auburn this year, which means we probably lost to... We lost to Ole Miss and Tennessee. You know what I mean? Not a lot of, uh, not a lot of uh, very minimal loss teams in the SEC this season. So it looks like, you know what I mean, really came down to some tiebreakers and stuff like that. But 9-3, we lost to Georgia. We lost to Ole Miss. We lost to Tennessee. The kind of teams you think we would lose to. I would 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 have loved to see us beat Ole Miss. But you know what I mean? T Tennessee, I feel like it's going to be a thorn in, you know, in our side. Same thing with Georgia. But we beat Auburn this year. We got back at them. They were one. They were number four in the nation coming into this season, man. So um, let's see who's actually in the SEC championship. Auburn once again and Florida. So it looks like Auburn just benefited from us losing to other people. John Brantley from Florida is going to win this year's Heisman. 52 total touchdowns. Uh, oh my goodness, 612 first place votes. Damn near unanimous. Uh, he beats out Gray, Burns, Childs, and Yates. Uh, nobody else really had a chance. And we're going to be in the AutoZone Liberty Bowl, taking on 8 and 4 ECU. Let's not sleep on them, man. Let's get, let's get our first bowl win of the sim. All right, boys. Finally, we get our first bowl win here of the sim we win the liberty bowl we uh you probably guessed that beat the brakes off of uh ecu 41 to 3 this possibly might be julio jones's last game as an alabama crimson tide member hopefully that's not the case hopefully he stays all four years and hopefully we can have uh have a shot at the sec championship next season all right so greg mcelroy beats the school record for uh passing yards in a career he also has passing yard passing touchdowns in a career Julio Jones has the most receptions in a career, 256. He now has the most uh, receiving yards in a career. 
Gibson has the most receiving touchdowns, beats out Julio Jones while Julio Jones is still on the team with 16. Julio Jones has the school receiving the career record. And uh, so, you know, the offense is putting up numbers. I wonder who's really fumbling the bag when it comes to winning some of these big games. All right, boys, so the main guys we're going to be leaving, losing this year, Rolando McClain, Greg McElroy, we're losing Luther Davis, we're losing uh, Tr Terry Grant, Terry Grant. We're losing Peak. We're losing J. Eugene, who we got from LSU. So, you know what I mean? We already used up his eligibility. Uh, looks like he had a pretty solid career here at, uh, at at Bama playing for those two seasons. So maybe he didn't have to sit, sit, sit out right away. Or maybe I'm just ahead of myself and I don't remember what the hell I did. <laughs> All right, guys. So this is going to be our worst recruiting class of the sim. One five star, four four stars, three three stars, 12 two stars. All right, boys. So coming into season number four, 2008, 2009, 10, 11, season number four, we're number five in the nation preseason rank. So they think highly of us, boys. They think highly of us. By this, by the end of this season, IRL, Nick Saban had already won his second natty with Bama. We're behind. We haven't even won an SEC championship but maybe we can have all that change here in this season. All right, boys, we did it. Season number four, we're in the SEC Championship. We got 10 and two, number nine, Florida. One loss so far this season, and it looks like we lost at the right time. Early in the season, we lost to Tennessee, who's number 10 in the nation, 10 and two. Florida is one of them teams, man. They are very, very good, very, very explosive. Let's take a look at who they got on their squad. It does not show us, but you know what I mean? Uh, we cannot take this game lightly. Now, my original plan was to jump into these games, Super Sim, and watch them later on in the game. But whenever I did that earlier when I was recording this video, it would freeze. So we would have to create a save point and go right back. So I've already created my save point. But we're going to go ahead and traditionally sim and see what happens here in this ball game. And we win our first SEC championship here in season number four. Number three in the nation. We're not going to add that to our trophy case. Take a look at the other uh, conference championship games. If Colorado gets a win here versus Oklahoma, that could that could propel us to the national championship. And Oklahoma squeaks it out. The number one team in the nation doesn't have a national championship game. So we just have to hope and pray that we get some love for beating number nine in the nation. But then again, they beat number seven. But we beat our opponent more handily. So... The computers might have something to say with the SEC bias, but we just got to wait and see. All right, guys, surprisingly, Star Jackson wins this season's Heisman as well. Threw for 4,800 yards, 48 total touchdowns. Uh, very, very close vote. Calhoun from Oklahoma was right behind him. Brown from Florida. Reed from Bum SU. And Franks from Texas Tech. And we are going to be in the Sugar Bowl. We actually dropped from three to four somehow. And we're going to be playing number 10, Notre Dame. We do win the Heisman. We're going, you know what I mean? We're not going to add it to the list. We also win a Davey O'Brien naturally. So pretty big season from Star Jackson here. Who's going to be in that natty? The natty is going to be Oklahoma and USC. And who moved up to number three in our in our absence? Let's go ahead and check out those 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 um those standards real quick. So, all right, so we're we're number three in the coaches poll. Number five in the media poll. And in the BCS poll, we're number four behind Penn State. What does Penn State have over us that we don't have? I don't know. Um, take a look at their schedule. They lost to number five, um, Ohio State. So I guess that loss doesn't get held that much against them. All right, boys. So we got our first BCS bowl game to this point. And we are going to be Sugar Bowl champs as we knock off Notre Dame. Let's go. And it was in a dominating fashion as we won that game 45 to 19. I am anxious to see who won a natty. It is going to be Oklahoma. They knock off USC by 14. All right, boys. So Julio Jones now has the receiving yards record for the whole entire NCAA when it comes to career. 5,100 career yards. Of course, um, you know what I mean? He's going to have a, a, a few more Bama records. Um, but he beats, he has another NCAA record, 344 receptions in his career as well. Star Jackson breaks the school record for passing yards in a season. He also break, he also already has a school career at passing yards numbers and same thing with the touchdowns in a season with 50. And he also has a touchdown career, um, for the school as well. Julio Jones, naturally that record is going to be happy to Bama record. He breaks his own yards record. Um, he breaks his own career record. He breaks his own touchdown career record, but he doesn't get that single season. All right, guys. So this is what we got leaving. We're losing Blankenship to the draft. Love to the draft. Neighbors to the draft. 
Kareem Jackson's going. Lawrence uh, Scott, Marcel Darius is going to the draft. I'm, I'm sure uh, Michael Williams is going. But most importantly, you know, what I mean, we're losing Chad Jones, who came to us from LSU. He had a great, he had a great uh, few years here. Brandon Gibson had amazing seasons, especially his last two. And then Julio Jones, the 99 overall, a thousand yard receiver or more for all four seasons here at. Alabama, eight touchdowns, 15 touchdowns, eight touchdowns, 13 touchdowns, um, 100 yards a game except for his freshman season. Yards after the catch is insane. Average yards after the catch is insane. And no more than a few drops, you know what I mean, in all of his seasons. All right, boys, this time a top three recruiting class, three five stars, 11 four stars, six three stars, two two stars. Let's take a look at some of these guys. Five star outside linebacker, five star athlete, four star outside linebacker. I mean, excuse me, another five star outside linebacker, four star D tackles, athletes, two running backs, another athlete, a cornerback, a DN, a wide receiver, another corner, a quarterback, and an outside linebacker. All right, boys, so last season we go 13 and one and do not win a natty. We did. You know what I mean? All that we could except for not lose that one game. Pretty rough schedule this year. Penn State, South Carolina, Arkansas, Florida, Army, Ole Miss, Tennessee, Utah State, Mississippi State, LSU, Auburn, and San Diego State. Going to be extremely hard to run table to run the table, but I think we're fully capable. All right, boys. So despite having a real tough schedule, we're finding ourselves back in the SEC chip, but we did drop two games, and we're going to be taking on the number one team in the nation. So although we might can't go to the Natty, we could play spoiler. We lose to LSU. We lost to Florida, and we lost to... Oh, we lost two games. What the hell am I talking about? So we lost to Florida and we lost to LSU. I mean, I knew it was going to be hard for us to run a table. We got Georgia here in this ball game, the SEC chip, and we get the dub back to back SEC champions. Even though we won't be in the natty, we will be in a sugar bowl. And we got a chance to be back to back Super Bowl cha sugar bowl champs. So, you know what I mean? It counts for something. All right. So Andrew Lawson from USC is going to win the Heisman. Bernard Thompson bucks in calabrese finished behind them um we're gonna be taking on byu in the sugar bowl they're number six in the nation 12 and 0 we're number eight in the nation just curious to see who's going to be in that natty usc is back there again and clemson is there as well it's going to be a hell of a game all right boys so we do it back to back sec champions back to back sugar bowl champions so although we don't have the amount of natties that nick saban had at this point in real life you know what i mean we're still having you know, pretty good success. I can't lie. And Clemson blew out USC in the natty. So the USC goes 0 for 2 in national championship games. Star Jackson obliterates the school record for passing yards in a career. He's now over, he's at almost 12,000, 120 passing touchdowns in his career. I mean, he's just going to run away with these Alabama records. All right, guys, so we're losing a lot of key pieces, but we are reshaping and retooling with these top classes. We got Bradley going to be transferring to Mizzou. We're losing Boswell. We're losing Destin Hood. We're losing Austin Armin. We're losing Jones, Murphy, Lester. Mark Ingram is going to be going off to greener pastures. Didn't have the craziest of seasons this year. I feel like maybe he was hurt. Um, but Star Jackson had such a great year. You never know. Damian Square is leaving. Chris Jordan is leaving. Um, you know, Star Jackson uh, probably might. He might be the GOAT Alabama quarterback. You know what I mean? Threw for 5,000 yards one year, 4,400 yards the next, 50 touchdowns, then 44 touchdowns. QBR got better in his, in, the, in his second season. And, you know, the completion percentage slightly got better. Uh, average per uh, average attempts got went down a little bit. Longest pass went up. Time sacks went, went down. Oh, we're also losing Dante Hightower, Courtney Upshaw, Terry Gibson. Like, these are all NFL guys. These are a lot of NFL guys we're losing. You know what I mean? Just like that. All right, boys, so the recruiting classes just keep getting better and better and better. We now have the number two recru recruiting class in the year of the other season. Right behind Texas, we got five five stars that are five. We got seven four stars that are eight, eight three stars that are ten. We got a one star. They have two two stars. Let's just take a look at this. Five, two five-star corners, a five-star QB, five-star guard, another five-star corner. That The defensive backfield is going to be clamped. A four-star middle linebacker, D-tackle, D-in, guard, D-in, D-in, outside linebacker. All right, boys, so things are a little bit different. We come in as the preseason number one team in the nation. We got Penn State, FCS West, Arkansas, number two, Florida, Rice, Ole Miss, Tennessee, Vandy, Mississippi State, LSU, Auburn, and Arkansas State 
as the guys, the teams on our schedules this year. This is going to be a fun season, man. I can't wait to see what this year has in store. Could this be the year of our first natty? All right, boys. So here we are at the end of another season. As you can see, we're not preparing for an uh, SEC championship game. We lost the Iron Bowl and we regress down to eight and four, five and three in the conference. It was the Iron Bowl. We lost an OT to Tennessee and we got the brakes beat off of us by Florida. All right, so Daniel Bernard for of Texas Tech is going to win the Natty this year. 4,600 passing yards, 51 touchdowns, no running stats whatsoever. Even though we went 8-4, and four, we're going to be taking on number 12, 11-2 by Tech in the Chick-fil-A Bowl. So, you know what I mean? Could we continue our streak of bowl wins? All right, boys, so not only did we have an L season, we take an L in the Chick-fil-A Bowl, losing by 7 to Virginia Tech. So we regressed a whole lot, but I think this team is pretty young at this point. So the next few seasons could get a little crazy. All right, boys. So who we got leaving this year? We're, we're missing out on our of our starting quarterback over this last season. Threw for 3,600 yards, 36 touchdowns, 11 picks. Um, Tim Blair, wide receiver, 92 overall. Dominic Miller, cornerback, uh, Richard Wilkerson. Solid D tackle right in. Uh, we're losing another quarterback. Why wow, we got so many quarterbacks? We're losing a, our, our 98 overall right uh, left tackle, excuse me, Tyler Jones, Kelly Berg, uh, running back, and we're losing a 99 overall impact player, free safety, Pete Johnson. All right, guys, so recruiting still remains solid. Top 10 recruiting class at number nine. Two five stars, seven four stars, seven three stars, two two stars, and even two one stars. The five stars are going to be a cornerback and a, a, and a quarterback. Four-star corner, four-star outside linebacker, D tackle, free safety quarterback, free safety quarterback. So we're going super duper heavy at a lot of positions and made the best man win when it comes to playing time. I'm not mad at it. All right, guys. So another season done, and we are nine and three. Not bad, but unranked. We lost two twice late, LSU and Auburn. And we also lost to Georgia earlier in the year. Um, not really sure what's going on with the team. You know what I mean? We're still we're still having winning records. We're still going to make bowl games. We're still getting bowl wins, but it's not what Nick Saban is known for. Nick Saban, I'm looking at the record now. Nick Saban has never lost more than, except for the very first season that he took over, Nick Saban has never lost more than three games in a season. He went 7-6 his very first year, which we didn't send because it was in 08. He went 12-2, 14-0, then 10-3. Then everything after that was one to two losses. No more than that if he didn't go undefeated. Here's the Heisman watch list. Willie, Willie, Willie Williams, Penn State, 1,600 all-purpose yards, 17 touchdowns. That's impressive. Uh, we had a top five finisher with our quarterback in Clancy. We are going to be in the Music City Bowl heading out to Nashville, taking on 6-6 six six Maryland. We are now ranked after the, uh, the conference championship uh, week, so hopefully we can keep that going with a win here in this bowl. All right, boys, so not only do we go 9-3 in the regular season, we lose the bowl game to Maryland. All right, boys, we're going to slowly go through who we're losing, losing the transfer, losing people to graduation slash, uh, slash, slash the draft because, you know, if they're super high overall, they will be in their draft class if we were to move this over to Madden 09. All right, boys, so we skipped the recruiting class because although having top recruiting classes are nice and it's a good flex, it's not resulting into wins on the football field. We're coming into this season ranked number 24 in the nation, and we got to try to find a way to get, you know what I mean, into that natty. The closest we were was a few seasons ago when we had the one loss, but you know what I mean? We got we got a chance to climb up that uh, that ranking uh, rankings uh, board with the amount of uh, ranked opponents we have on our, uh, on our schedule this season. All right, boys, so we have a bounce-back season. But we're number eight in the nation, which means we probably lost late. 11 to one, taking on 12 and 0, number three, Florida. When was the loss? And it was to Ohio State, bro. We always get this damn close and we lose late and it drops us down a bunch. But here we are in the uh, conference championship game. And as you boys can see, man, we're simmering right through. There is no, there is no faking, flogging, or, or resetting. And we lose this one by two. 36 34 is your final score. Game summary, Bama had to score 20 in the fourth to try to come back in this game. But in the end, there was just no time left. And uh, Florida is lucky they didn't have, you know, a monumental uh, letdown. But it looks like both quarterbacks played extremely well in these ballgames.
All right, so Darren Tetzel of the, out of Southern Miss is going to win the Heisman. This is a close-ass Heisman vote. 214 for him, 159 for, for Indiana's uh, quarterback, 150 for Texas Tech's quarterback, 117 for uh, for Matthews, 108 for Penn State, uh, Penn State's Kendrick. So the, the voters really didn't know who the hell they wanted to be the uh, a Heisman voter. I've never seen a vote that split before. And we're going to be back in the Capital One Bowl, taking on 10 and 2 Michigan. We're 11 and 2, number 12. And who is going to be in that natty, boys? It is going to be North Carolina versus Penn State. Hmm, would have never seen that coming. All right, boys, so Penn State blows out North Carolina in the natty, and we lose 38-31 in the Capital One Bowl. We are struggling here late in the seasons and in the postseason as well. All right, boys, here we are getting ready for the 2016 season. Once again, we skipped the recruiting uh, the recruiting classes and everything like that because none of that matters, man. We already know we're going to get big-name guys to come to this program, but we need those big-name guys to develop it to be champions, bro, straight up and down. We need to not only win games in September and October, we need to find ways to win games in, you know, November, December, and January as well if we want to be successful. All right, boys, so a very, very, very disappointing season here. Six and six, we lost to U UCF, Auburn, LSU, we lost to Tennessee, we lost to Virginia Tech, and we lost to Arkansas. This was just an unacceptable season. We even lo almost lost to Syracuse. We had to go to overtime to play them. All right, boys, Robert Carrington out of Boise State is going to be your Heisman winner this year. Another close Heisman race at the top as he beats out Lee from Michigan. And even though we didn't play the greatest, man, we are in another bowl game in the Liberty Bowl, taking on 12-1, and number 15, Southern Miss. All right, guys, so we're down bad, bro. We even lose to Southern Miss. Yes, they were 12-1, and but it's Southern Miss. Uh, Bama has fallen from grace here, man, and hopefully we can shake back a lot next season. All right, boys, 2017 season. We are unranked preseason. Uh, schedule doesn't look that hard. Oregon State, South Carolina, Arkansas, Florida, Ar Army, Ole Miss, Tennessee, Mississippi State, LSU, Auburn, Tulsa Rice. We got a lot of the same culprits, man, but a lot of those guys are also not ranked just like us. But, you know, they are better than us on paper. I mean, I'm not really sure what happened with all those good recruiting classes we had, but the team is just not what they used to be. All right, boys, so this is completely not what I thought, but we are back in the SEC Championship. And again, who else? Florida. They're 10-2 as well, number 14 in the nation. Um, way, way to bounce back, boys. We lost to Auburn. We keep losing that damn Iron Bowl. And we lost to Arkansas. We've already beat Florida once this year. Can we come out here and do it again? We're going to go ahead and sim. And we lose by three. God dang. We blew them out the first game. We come back this game and we lose, bro. Um, we caught two picks. We threw two picks, but we threw for more touchdowns. Run game couldn't really get going. I mean, it was a good game overall. Let's take a look when, when the last point was scored. Um, UF had to come back in this game as well, and they scored with 243 left. So it should have been enough for Bama to come back and get a dub, but uh, you know what I mean? We, we, we lose, bro. We lose. We, well, like I said, we got to find ways to win in November and December. So Brandon Davis of Ohio State is going to be this year's uh, Heisman winner. 15 touchdowns on the ground, 1,700 yards. Well, 1630 and another five touchdowns through the air. We're going to be taking on number 14, Indiana, in the Outback Bowl, who's 9-3. We're 10-3. We win tight end of the year with our guy Johnson. Shout out to him for being number one receiver. Hughes wins the Lombardi Award. Uh, you know what I mean? Uh, Allen wins the Jim Thorpe. So we got some of the top defensive players out here today. We even win punter of the freaking year. All right, boys. So another bowl, another loss. And not only did we just lose, bro, Indiana beat the brakes off of us 59 7 i guess people must have decided not to play in a bowl game because they didn't want to get hurt for the draft because that's simply unacceptable all right boys here we are getting ready for the 2018 season once again unranked we got a pretty tough schedule i mean we're not even gonna do much talking man we know what we need to do bro we made it to this to this conference championship last year we only got a few more seasons left here in the sim it started off promising man but it's going downhill quickly all right, boys, so the season's over. We go 8-4. and four. We lose to Auburn. We lose to LSU. We get blanked by Ole Miss, and we lose to Florida by 7. I mean, uh, it's like the highest of the highs and the lowest of the lows. We keep making bowl games, but we're even losing those bars. I didn't even mean to rhyme, but I did. So Texas Tech gets a Heisman winner here in Eric Bruner. 4,300 passing yards, 46 total touchdowns. We're going to be playing my team, my favorite team, the U, in the Chick-fil-A Bowl here in Atlanta. Uh, eight and four. Hopefully, we can get the dub. All right, boys. So we finally 
in our drought and bowl games to get a win versus my hurricanes but for the sake of this for this for this sim we definitely definitely needed that 24 17 however you got to get it done all right boys 2019 season we only have four more seasons here in this sim hopefully we can come out here and do some things bro but we got to beat the teams that we cannot beat that's georgia that's Ole miss that's tennessee that's even florida at times and most certainly lsu and auburn um not really sure how good the team is this year matter of fact let's take a look one thing i probably need to do a little bit more often but you know what i mean we got 190 on the team our quarterback's a redshirt junior uh probably two years 85 overall running back some decent wide receivers. We got some 70s. I mean, uh, it's looking, it's looking, not looking good for us, bro. All right, boys. So once again, very, very good season, solid season. We lose late and we lose the, we lose the Iron Bowl. We lose the Auburn. Auburn is gonna be in the SEC championship. I mean, we we got over some of our, you know, what I mean, some of our biggest obstacles this season. But LA, I mean, but Auburn, bro, we cannot beat these dudes. I have no clue why. Let's take a look at the score summary, man. They had to score 10 in the fourth, but we got shut out in the second half, bro. So, you know, you're not going to win many games getting shut out in the second half. All right, man. So this season's Heisman winner is going to be Nick Conant out of Houston. 3,800 yards passing, 38 total touchdowns. Pretty close race with the Texas quarterback. Um, we're going to be in the Capital One Bowl, 11-1 Alabama. Take it on 11-1 Michigan. Last time we played those dudes, they blew us out. This year's Natty, Boise State, and UCLA. What the hell is going on in college football? All right, boys. So once again, we lose another bowl game, 23-15. I mean, these kids just can't get over the hump even when they're this close. All right, boys. Here we are in the year 2020. We come into the season ranked number 15. We're going to sim through this, man, and see if these boys can finally get over the hump. I really, really and truly hope that Alabama can win at least one national championship in this sim. All right, boys, so we ended this season off on a high note, right? But we still go eight and four, which means we took some losses early in the year. We lost to Tennessee, we lost to Arizona State, we lost to Georgia, we lost to Arkansas. We started off the season, you know what I mean, losing three out. We went on the stretch where we lost three out of our of, of our last four games, bro, or four of our, out of our last five games. Like that's insane, bro. Uh, I have no, I have no words, bro. Straight up and down. Texas's Jimmy Blake is going to win the Heisman this year. 4,100 passing yards, 52 touchdowns. We will be playing the, the Nebraska Cornhuskers in the Cotton Bowl. They're 10 and two and number 12 in the nation. Probably going to beat the brakes off of us, man, because that's what seems to be happening once we get into these ball games. All right, boys, so another bowl game, another loss for Alabama. 14-19 is your final score. These dudes are really struggling, bro. All right, boys, here we are in the second to last season of The Sim. The 2021 season, the season that just passed last year, where Bama did lose in the college football playoff and Georgia was the natty winners. Um, not a lot of ranked people on our schedule except for Tennessee. Uh, I'm pretty sure a few of these teams will be ranked at the end of the year, but let's take a look at the, the product that we're going to be putting on the field for this last season. We got an 89 overall quarterback, 81 speed, who's a redshirt junior. We got an 81 overall running back. Our wide receiver core is pretty, pretty solid. Um, tight end 79 O line is horrible. We got a left guard. That's a 60 overall. Let's go ahead and, and refresh that. And they keep them in, but you know what I mean? I let the computer do everything. I won't be changing anything no matter how I see fit. A right tackle is a 68. So we're seeing, you know what I mean, in real time while we're out here losing games, bro. Oh, man, it's, it's, it's god awful. All right, boys. So we have an, another amazing season, but I feel like we lost late once again. What do you know? 11 and 1 going up against 12 and 0 Florida in the SEC championship game. And, um,. We lost pretty late, you know what I mean, to Tennessee, 55-27. Not really sure how we would have been ranked after, you know what I mean, if we would have won that game. But we can play spoiler to the BCS National Championship game here against Florida. Um, both teams aren't really that crazy good. So let's go ahead and simulate it, see if we can get a win and win our third SEC Championship. And we are able to get that done. Sucks that we don't, we won't be playing in the natty with a win here, but we got to knock Florida out of their high, off their high horse. All right, so Auburn's Jonathan Ferguson is going to win the uh, Heisman. 3,095 yards, 458 yards on the ground, and another 48 total touchdowns. We will be in the Sugar Bowl. We're in the BCS Bowl. 
And we're playing Michigan again, a team that continues to clap our cheeks. Pause. Let's go ahead and simulate this man and see if we can get a dub. All right, boys. So unable to get the job done once again, we lose this game 45 to 14. I really don't understand why we can't win bowl games, bro. Uh, we, we, we just cannot get the job done. So we got a, a, a new record, a new single season NCAA record, our, our wide receiver Blair. 149 receptions this year um, beats Wallace from Hawaii. He also breaks, breaks Julio Jones' school records for receptions in a season naturally. He breaks Julio Jones' record for yards in a season. Um, hell of a year for our, for our wide receiver. Uh, flat out, straight up. All right, boys, here we are. The last and final season, the current NCAA season 2022. This is our last and final shot that we have to win a national championship. I would hate for us not to win at least one. So let's see how it goes. All right, boys, here we are with our best season yet. 12 and 0, getting ready for the SEC championship game against 10 and 2, number 19, Georgia. I'm not sure how much implications this has on the national championship, but I hope it has a lot. Let's go to the top 20. Let's go to the whole NCAA here. So number two, North Carolina and number one, Texas are the only teams that play. So even if the both of those teams lost, we could still possibly not even get into the natty. All right, boys. So number two, North Carolina does end up losing to Clemson. And in true NCAA fashion, number 14, Missouri bumps off Texas by 14. So the only thing left for us to do is to handle what we can control. Number one, number two and number one, both lost. But there's a number three and a four over us. So hopefully us winning the SEC championship can catapult us over those teams. So we win another SEC championship. That's going to be our fourth, if I'm not mistaken. So, you know what I mean? Uh, let's see what happens from here. We won by 17. We did our job. Hopefully, you know what I mean? The computers are kind to us. All right, boys. So in our last season, we just continue to surprise everything. Rashad Mason wins the Heisman throws for 4,600 yards. 54 total touchdowns, landslide of a victory to, to get that Heisman. And we are going to be in the Sugar Bowl taking on North Carolina. We all, you know, we already know that we won the Heisman. We also won the Maxwell. And we also win the Davey O'Brien. We also won the tight end of the year as well. And once again, who's in that natty bro it's going to be oregon versus indiana golly there's no way we don't jump them let's go ahead and take a look at the top 25 and then from the top 25 we're going to go ahead and take a look at the bcs rankings and we're right behind oregon i really don't know what else we would need to do to jump them but i'm not even quite sure that it's possible all right boys so we got to handle our handle man we watched north carolina lose Hoping it was going to get us into the natty, and it just was simply not enough. Let's go ahead and sim through this game. All right, boys. So we get over that hump. We get the job done here in the Sugar Bowl versus North Carolina. We win that game 59 to 35. All right, boys. So I know a few of you guys might be interested to know what happened. Indiana is going to win the last natty here in this simulation. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at what the culture career Nick Saban looked like here. So, so IRL right now, Nick Saban is 186 and 25. We go 152 and 49. So we have 14 winning seasons. Our longest win streak is going to be 14. We were under 500 versus the top 25. We did have an amazing record against our rivals, but we were under 500 in bowl games at five and 10. No natties, but we did get four conference championships. So we only have 14 winning seasons at Alabama. Nick Saban has had 16 every single one. We have zero national championships. They have six. We have four conference titles. They have eight. That doesn't show us how many division titles we have, but they have nine. He had four Heisman winners. I believe we had two. Um, he had 44 consistent All-Americans. I did not check the All-Americans. That would have been hell to try to keep up with. And I'm trying to see if there's anything else that I could, that I could, um, you know, compare. Um, definitely, I could compare records for sure. Let's do that real quick. So in 2010, they went 10 and three, and they won the no. So in 20, so basically, based off of what we have, 
Um, let's just say I don't remember what we did in 09. I think we went 13. On, I don't remember what we did in 09, but that's when they won the first national championship in 2010, which we could see here. We went 10 and three. They went 10 and three. They won the Capital One Bowl. 2011, they went 12 and one with a Natty win. We go, we went 13 and one without a Natty win, but we did win the conference title. In 2012, they went 13 and one with another BCS National Championship. We went 12 and two, 12 and 13. 2013, they go 11 and two. We go eight and five. 2014, they go 12 and two. We go nine and four. 2015, they go 14 and one. We go 11 and three. 2016, they go 14 and one. We go six and seven. 2017, they go 13 and one with a natty. We go 10 and four. 2018, they go 14 and one and they lost in a natty. Uh, we go nine and four. 2019, they won the Citrus Bowl going 11 and two. We go 11 and two, and I think we lost our bowl game. 2020, they went 13 and 0. They won a Natty. We go eight and five. 2021, they go 13 and two. They lost in the national championship game, and then in, to here in 20 in 2002, and then here in 2002, they are three and 0 currently. We go 14 and 0. But even with as great of a record, we still are unable to win that elusive national championship, man. So Nick Saban's career was a lot different here in this sim. I honestly did not expect it to go this poorly. I'll go ahead and spill the beans now, man. And the other one I did that I took three hours to record that just absolutely crashed on me. We clutched out a natty win in the very last season. I was hyped, it felt good, but those memories are no longer there. And this is the reality of the simulation you guys let me know about any other coaches that have been at their schools or culture for a long time and currently in the, in the, in the ncaa and we'll go ahead and get some sims in with them and you know what i mean we can even do it in the ncaa 2014 i'm not opposed to any of that stuff man all of my ncaa's we can do it with all all types of different coaches so hopefully you guys enjoyed this one man if you did stop and smash that like button hit me up in the comment section below subscribe if you're new it's your uncle sam's reject rkgames.com i'm out of here Peace. Hey. Test, test, test. Niggas want me to lose, but I can't. I've been stacking this shit to the ceiling. Know some niggas with bodies, and it ain't no probably. We never speak on them killers. Everybody on my block, go get them some money. It's only a couple of drillers. I've been fucking them hoes, man. Them bitches ain't nobody.